This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'm going to be opening a little pilot pen that just arrived from Hong Kong. It got caught up in Los Angeles for a couple weeks and I almost forgot that it was on the way. I've been kind of excited about this little inexpensive pen and it is got part of the end off a pilot Pluminix. And until recently, I didn't even know this existed. It's a, it's called the Pixie, the Pixie size of the Plumix. Now, before I opened this, I had been doing a little reading on it. I thought, in my reading, I thought this was going to have a standard international cartridge. Because the only reason I became aware of this pen is uh, I was talking to Graham in the comments, and he mentioned it. We were talking about pocket pens, and he suggested this. And let's see. It's got the nib does not have any tipping, but it's marked fine, and you can see that it's a fine stub nib. That's what excited me about this pen the most. I'm normally not a big fan of the Plumix, but something about this being a pocket pen kind of caught my interest, and as I started looking at them, I saw that it came in a fine. Now, I had been looking at uh, the Plumix just because I was interested in this fine, this cursive fine nib, but the only place I had found them was in the little uh, calligraphy box sets where you, I think you get two Plumix pens and you get the fine and the medium and a couple bottles of ink. And I looked at those gift sets and I think I had the inks that came with them. I wasn't really interested in the longer Plumix pen. So I was really excited to see that this was available. Graham said they're available in the UK. And when I was reading up on this and read that it came with a standard international cartridge that kind of made sense to me with it being in the UK because Graham also mentioned that their their version of the Metropolitan uses standard international cartridges but I'm actually happy to see that it uses regular pilot cartridges since I have a few other pilot pens and I like the size of the pilot ink cartridges well I had thought about I am. I'm I'm not going to use the cartridge for now. I have an idea of what I'm going to use that for. It looks like it's a blue ink cartridge, but I'm wanting to compare this fine italic to some of the italic and stub nibs that I already have. Well, I think I'm going to do my writing sample first and then I'll compare the nibs because these two are have been dipped in ink and I've been testing them out and I don't want them to get dried out. Let's see if this posts. Oh yeah, it posts nicely. For me, not liking the Plumix as much as I do, this, I think I kind of like it. It's got, it's, it's rounded on the bottom but it's triangular shaped. It's got, or not triangular shaped, but faceted right here. And I find that very comfortable. I know some people aren't fine, fond of having a forced grip. I'm dipping this in some Sailor Gentle Black. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You, I notice with this you've got to hold it at the right angle or it there is some crispness to this nib it will dig into the paper and the edges didn't seem too pointy but you do have to hold it at the right angle this is it's marked fine but it's like a cursive fine let's see Mm, 
Okay, and like my cursive medium on my Metropolitan, it's a little bit, it's kind of a dry nib. I noticed when I first started writing, that first P was a little bit drier, but once once I was past the first letter, it was it felt a little bit better on the page, and that's true of my Metropolitan. Okay, next, let's see, I'm going to go in, I'm going to do the finer ones first. Now this is a Platinum Preppy that, with a medium nib that I ground myself into a kind of a stub-like or italic nib. Those are very similar. The preppy maybe is a little bit wetter. Okay, next I'm going to write with my Metropolitan that is a cursive medium. Yeah, the Preppy was just slightly wetter than the two Pilots. And you can see the difference in line width. It's a noticeable difference between the Cursive Medium and the Fine. And this is a broad nib on my... Um, this is a 78G, not a G+. Plus. And it's a broad. Okay. Yeah. And you can tell that each step up is just a little bit wider. Yeah. Between the the fine and the cursive medium. There is a noticeable difference and I like I like really fine stub nibs. I think I'm gonna like this. I had thought about getting this and just for the nib. Hmm. I may still swap nibs between my um Metropolitan and this one. This one I think this style of pen I would prefer to have the broader the cursive medium. That's interesting. But let me go over some of the things about this pen. I guess technically it could be eyedroppered. In fact, let me pause the video. I'm going to get my uh, Petite One. I want to compare this to the Petite One. Okay, so it has now the the petite one has a snap cap and is just, let's see, I guess that would be about a centimeter shorter. And so the petite one has a snap cap and the Pluminix has a threaded cap. Um, the petite one has the cylindrical section and this has a, the Pluminix has a very comfortable faceted section, but it's round on bottom. Mm, that's just very comfortable. Um, it has the blocky threads on the section. Like the Petite One does. Now, I'm not one who has any interest in eyedropping a pen, so... But, yeah, it's got the same little divot on the bottom that uh, the Petite One does.
Now, with the petite one being a little shorter, they have to use these proprietary short cartridges. And that's a that's a bonus for the Pluminex. That extra bit of length allows it to use a full-length cartridge, which holds a pretty decent amount of ink. And it's got that extra weight, which, you know, this is a pretty lightweight pen, just like the petite one. And I had to get mine. I had to get this one on eBay. I ordered it on eBay. I looked at Amazon UK, and they had these, but only the medium. And I think the medium is basically like the cursive medium that you can get in the Metropolitan. In order to get the fine, I had to go to eBay, and it came from Hong Kong. And they had several colors. I like this green. That's something kind of unique to my collection. All right. I really like this. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it was about $12, including the shipping and everything. So um, it's not a very expensive pen. Like the Petite One is just like a $3 pen. So if you think this is similar construction, $12, you might think that's too much, but for me, I I was willing to pay $12 uh, really just for the nib. I would have paid $12 to have that replacement nib, so having a nice little pocket pen, that's just a bonus. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.